comments from AB. I got no problem with it because Big Ben has been doing this basically since Coach Howard left. He's called out on the last couple of years, he's called out Todd Haley, his offensive coordinator, on numerous occasions. And I said this, Skip Bayless, mm -hmm. you remember I came on the show, I said the problem that Antonio Brown has yep. with Big Ben is that he keeps calling him out publicly. You said that. And he will take no, accept mm -hmm. no accountability yep. when he makes mistakes or does something wrong. Mm -hmm. And everybody, you know, Pittsburgh, they jump <laughs> on my timeline. I'm like, you don't know, you're not in the locker room. <laughs> I just gave him an opportunity. Mm. They like you right on oh, you you right you right. yeah of course I'm right mm. because I know this situation you I'm... were ahead of this curve. <laughs> Skip, the reason why Antonio and he said it is because you remember the Pittsburgh the, uh, the Denver game. Mm -hmm. After the game, Ben comes out not even with Antonio ran that route too flat. Bro, you know there, there are certain things, Skip. Even though you know a player's wrong. Mm -hmm. There have been times I knew John knew I was wrong, Ed was wrong, or the offensive mm -hmm. line. But you do that, you handle that behind closed doors. Mm. And Ben has no problem. Brand will never say, oh, I played bad. Mm -hmm. It's always someone else. And Ben has always been known to do that. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's always willing to put the blame at someone else's feet. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady's never done that. That's why, guess what? You ever see any t uh, a team, uh, a Tom Brady teammates or ex-teammates go on IG or Insta? Say, like you said, Skip. Publicly or privately, they go to bad boy. They do. Not so much with Aaron Rodgers, I must mm. throw out there. Publicly or privately, they don't go to bad for that guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they will for, mm -hmm. I mean, even Peyton. Mm -hmm. Peyton's hard, but he's fair. That's true. No, that's huh. true. Uh, 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 Tom, but Ben, look, all he did was give you a glimpse into what's really causing the conflict. Mm -hmm. And there's no accountability. Mm -hmm. And he's absolutely right, Skip, because, you know, the, the quarterback is normally the closest to the owner. Mm -hmm. And the owner, because, Skip, you remember when John Morrow said his thing, mm -hmm. what he said about uh, Odell? Mm -hmm. And Odell said, hey, when the big man speak, you just got to listen and say, mm -hmm. he's saying that. That's how Ben think. Ben think he and Art, Art Rudy II, yeah. and that he can just come at anybody any kind of how. Mm -hmm. And then when we step to him, then all of a sudden he's looking at a side eye or there's a potential or the possibility that we're going to be out of, out of here because we, oh, no, bro, at the end of the day, I get it, you're a quarterback. You, 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 you're more important than I am. But just like you, I got kids. Mm -hmm. Just like you, I got a mortgage. Yep. Just like you, I got a family. And at the end of the day, I'm a man just like you. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to respect me, but I won't let you disrespect <sighs> me. And so, Antonio Brown, this is... The old saying, Skip, you don't say it that much, but I think this is cross the Rubicon. Hmm. Ain't no turning back from this. Really? Yeah, 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 ain't no turning back from this. So is he trying to tweet or talk his way out of town? Well, he's been, to, he's been done that. Right. He's already made it abundantly clear. Now, he's going right. to meet with Mr. Rooney. Mm -hmm. But after he said what he said about Big Ben, he not, because, you know, publicly, he said, because even Antonio was like, well, I ain't got no problem with what he said. Mm -hmm. All the while, he was seething. Mm. It was burning him up. Mm. It was rubbing him. It was chafing him mm -hmm. that Big Ben kept doing this mm -hmm. and he wouldn't apologize publicly or privately. Mm -hmm. So he said, you know what? You, 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 you really think you made A.B.? Okay, fine. Just like when that reporter retweeted and A.B. says, okay, let's yeah. find out. Yeah. I'm done. He said, I'm done with y'all. Mm. So, I have to reiterate here I would have been done with Antonio in Pittsburgh if I ran the Steelers a long time ago because I wouldn't have given him the contract and you would not have. No, I already said, yeah, 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 yeah. AB is not without fault, Skip. I'm not, so don't, don't, don't misconstrue that me saying what he said was wrong. He's not at fault. We had Antonio on he's, the show. He's, he's at, not without fault. Without Steve. fault, without yes. fault. But yes. we had Antonio on the show 2016 at that Super Bowl, yes. right? The oh, one okay. in Houston, yes. right? Yes. The yes. Atlanta comeback, you know. The, yes, the, sure. Patriots, yep, the absolutely. Patriots comeback over Atlanta. And you were tough on him. I tried to be tough on him. I like him personally. I like him. He's being hard not him. to like. He's hard not to like because he's got a big spirit, big yep. heart, lots of charisma. Mm -hmm. He just, just bright. Mm -hmm. He just radiates. Okay. And yet, he is definitely not without a lot of fault. Yes. So it was interesting to me that in his ask me anything, when he responded, the first two words were no conflict, but, and then he went into sure. the backstory, the dirty game within a game. I'm with that. I see it. I get it. That's happened with a lot of quarterbacks in this league because once you've won two Super Bowl rings, you do operate with something of an ownership mentality. You're, you're the owner yeah. of the team, right? Yes. 
And that locker room is allowed to operate with that mentality because it is a players run locker room. Yes. And to a fault to me, Mike Tomlin allows that to happen because yes. he's seen as one of the ultimate players coaches, right? Right. And I think it's gone a little too far afield where he's lost some control of the agree. whole group in the locker room. I would agree. So where the Rubicon might have gotten crossed was when Antonio liked a couple of tweets yep. about the sexual assault allegations mm -hmm. against Ben Roethlisberger. Yes. Again, there were no charges in the one in 2010 in Georgia. He did settle the one in 08 at Lake Tahoe. Uh -huh. And then he, once he settled it, like three years later, he did take the four-game suspension for mm -hmm. that one, okay? Right. So is that crossing the Rubicon? I don't know. Is it... Is, is that a valid like on his I, I think part? The thing, sure it is. I think the thing for A.B. is mm -hmm. that these same fans that say, yeah, we need to be gone with A.B. because he pushed a woman yeah, down. I got it. I got and in the same He's breath, saying, hey. Ben's our guy. Yeah. Ooh, Ben won Super Bowls. Okay. Ben's okay. this, this, yada, yada. You're like, well, wait a minute okay. now. I got it. So my takeaway from all this is different than yours because the NFL Network did report that Antonio is scheduled to sit down with Art Rooney II, I think, Wednesday, maybe it yeah. is, sometime midweek this week. Mid -week, this week. Yeah. I just think that the Steeler way is to try to make peace, is to try to sit down with a guy who's still under contract mm -hmm. to you. You're paying him a whole lot of money. He's been paid top dollar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, He's right? Top three uh, okay. receivers right. in football. And I believe that Art Rooney is going to say, I'm glad you got all that off your chest. I'm happy you got it out there. Now let's try to sort through it all and let's make it work here next year. That's what I think he's going to try to pull off. And again, I don't think Antonio wants that because he's attempting, he's setting the bridge on fire day after oh, day. Yeah. He I, wants out. Mr. Rooney might attempt to try to talk Antonio off the ledge, but I believe he went to the ledge for a reason. He wanted out. He wants he wants out, Skip. He's he's to make a long story short, he's tired of Big Ben. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. I wish I can give you a, 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 a long draw that I say it was this. He's tired of Big Ben finger pointing, accepting no accountability. Mm. And pointing finger at coaches, they let him get away with it. And he's like, hold on, wait a minute. Is somebody going to check him? But here's the thing, Skip. Like you said, it's a player-driven locker room. It is. Shannon Sharp could have never been in that locker no. room. Mm -hmm. Ben Rutherford called me at one time. I wouldn't have said anything publicly. You, you just, I'd have pulled him to the side. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, mm -hmm. I promise him and I promise God and a few more name God. Mm -hmm. He'd have never did that public to me again. Agreed. You're right. But this is the situation. And I believe that Art Rooney is going to try to arrange a peacemaking session huh? between mm. Ben and A.B. Have them sit down in another week and see if they can sort of talk through it, hash it out. It is not the Steeler way to just auction off a high-paid player. Well, they just don't do that. Well, I know the guy I know the guy won out. Yeah. He suppressed a lot of his market. Mm-hmm. Well, why would I, first of all, why would I give you what he's worth? Antonio Brown is really worth the second-round pick. Yeah. Now, maybe you start... The Steelers are in a tough spot here because yes. you're going to have to pretty much give him away. Yes. Right? Okay, you say, oh, oh, you want you want me to make this thing right, Mr. Rooney? Yeah. Okay, bring Benny here. Yeah. And slap the taste out of mm -hmm. his mouth. See, that's for all the time that you call me out. And that's for calling Todd Haley out, too. And Todd couldn't say anything because that's why he out of here. Mm. Because of you, you had your best years under Todd Haley. But you forgot all about that. Mm. Yeah. And that's for calling everybody else out, too. And I still want to. I don't know if I can it. imagine a future where the two move on, they put this behind them, and it just doesn't seem realistic. Okay, after that's my gut that's feeling said. is that Antonio will be in Steelers camp. Yeah. You believe he'll be in Steelers? I do. So you believe, That's so opening day, you no, think he's no, going to be I'm not going to, I'm not <laughs> saying that he's going to make peace. Sure, just that, that he, he will be there. They're, they're going to say, let's try this and you guys figure it out. Skip, let's get what we can. Lots let's go ahead and get what we out. can out of this, Skip, and move on. Skip, well, again, I wouldn't have given him the deal in the first place. Right, but it you looked, did. Yeah, you did. All right, You're well, stopped. I don't know about this, if Shannon is going to have to move on from the idea that Anthony Ooh. Davis uh, may not be coming Ooh. to L.A. I'm sorry. we got to bring it up, Shannon. It's been a week. Oh, man. We'll discuss all that oh. next. And I won't back down. It's a Big East doubleheader. First, Bill Booth and number 13, Villanova, go for the season sweep over rival Georgetown. Boy, 